Hi there. So I guess this is your first installment of Animal Physios in Canada. Um, I am Laurie Hughes, and uh, this is my story. So let's go back. I am the product of a veterinarian and a nurse. So I knew I was going to go into healthcare, but I always thought I was going to be a veterinarian. And then, but I was going to be a large animal veterinarian like my father. And I was going to make those farmers call the lady vet out when they couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought that sounded pretty important. Um, and then as time went by, I realized I don't want to do surgery. I don't want, I don't like memorizing drugs and I don't really care about all the innards. So as fate would have it, I twisted my ankle and I had to go for physical therapy myself. And that's when I realized I like this. It's all the outside bits. You can touch them. You can do these, you know, movements and check what's really going on and you can actually fix things. So that's when I decided I want to be a physiotherapist. So I basically studied my butt off and I got into physical therapy school at the University of Alberta right out of high school, back when you could do that. Um, and let's see, my second job out, so I went through physio, oh that back up. In my third year, um, because I live on a ranch, which is, I don't even think you can see the cows. I was hoping you could see the cows. So anyways, I live on a ranch and we were chasing the cows one day. And this guy who was helping out, he says, you know, Lori, Jay has been lame in this one front leg. And I asked your dad and he says, oh, put him on selenium. But you know, you're, you're in physical therapy school. You, you assess him. You tell me what you think it is. And that was kind of my first exposure to oh, maybe I know something that could transfer to the animals. So I did all my things and I pulled his leg and I basically went on the premise that the anatomy is pretty much the same and it is. Um, and I deduced that it was his biceps tendon based on the stretching that I did and where he was sore. And I showed the owner how to do a biceps tendon stretch. And even to this day, he's like, oh, you saved my horse's life. Which is crazy I just showed him how to do a stretch and it made a difference so that's actually what got me started so my second job out after I graduated my first job was at a hospital ICU physio uh, my second job out was at the Cochrane physiotherapy clinic working for a lady by the name of Leslie Kerfoot and she trained in the UK which is where all the animal physiotherapy stuff began and she had been treating horses and she would come in and she'd be like, Lori, you just took that muscle energy course and I think this horse has an outflared pelvis, which, you know, later on as you're coming to learn things, it's like, well, that can't actually happen. But anyways, this is at the time we're all, it's all new to all of us. So we got on our hands and knees and tried to figure out which muscle group would work and the horse would we have to walk it. We figured we'd walk it sideways on a hill, but up or down. And, uh, and so that kind of got me even more processing how I could use my knowledge to um, work with an animal patient. And so then everything else was, I was around at the right place at the right time. So I, I was around when we had a meeting all around Leslie Kerfoot's kitchen table and we created the Canadian Horse and Animal Physical Therapists Association. And I was taking all the courses I could, but they were all on horses. And then, let's see, and, and it, that was in 94, 93 actually, 94 is when we formed the association. In 96, our secretary uh, quit. She says, I don't want to do this anymore. So I said, oh, Leslie, do you think that's something I could do? And she says, oh, I can't think of anyone better, which is really just because I had a pulse and was breathing. Um, so I became secretary. And it was fabulous because back that was back in the day of newsletters. Everything was done by mail. So I would get the newsletters from all the different associations all around the world, uh, that those that were doing them. Some of them were in languages uh, that I didn't understand, but I looked at the pictures and yay, that was so cool. So I was involved from that time. Um, our courses were all, horses 
and our membership was like, oh, how come there's no courses on dogs? And I was like, Laura, you do dogs. You should create a course on dogs. So I did. So in 1999, I devised the curriculum and taught the first course in, in canine physiotherapy and physical therapy in Canada and the United States. In 2001, I taught the first canine physio course in Australia. Um, I've continued to teach ever since then. Uh, I taught for 10 years with the Canine Rehab Institute in the United States, um, then went on to pursue, well, I was finding that people were coming out and they had forgotten half of what they had taken in course, in class, that's just natural. They, um, and there, was, there wasn't continuing education, and I figured those basic studies just kind of scratched the surface there of the knowledge and the learning. So I created an online educational website um, called fourleg.com, still up and running, and that has been uh, a main education platform and what I spend a lot of my hours doing is creating educational content to be in there every week. Now, if we go back, um, like I said, I've been involved with the Animal Rehab Division since 1996. Um, was around, we basically, our main goal from that time we started um, was to become a division of the Canadian Physiotherapy Association. And we achieved that in 2004, which was yay! Um, shortly thereafter, we had to change our name from Canadian Horse and Animal Physical Therapist Association to the Animal Rehab Division. Uh, so I've still been active there and I basically cycled around from, you know, co-chair, well before that it was president, president-elect, past president, and so then it became chair, chair-elect, past chair, co-chair, chair-elect, uh, until we had enough momentum that I haven't had to be chair for a number of years now, which is great. Um, and we have really grown the Animal Rehab Division. We have curricula courses now culminating in a diploma in canine or equine rehabilitation. Um, I devised all of the diploma curriculum, the materials, the course content for, um, for the canine side of things. So I pretty much just do canine now. Um, what else? Along the way um, in the mid 2000s uh, I was thinking you know I should have something more letters behind my name if I'm teaching so I actually went and got my uh, master's degree in animal physiotherapy through the University of Queensland in Australia where I got to be instructor for the uh, hands-on component but you know obviously had to do all the coursework because they don't give away master's degrees so got my master's in animal physiotherapy um, what else I have along the way worked in, I did house calls, I took patients out of my house, I worked in a vet clinic um, in a little room doing rehab there, and for the last 15 years I've had a standalone canine rehab referral center in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And there, so with my business partners, uh, Amalia Campos and Manuel uh, Campos, uh, let's do that again. Amalia Rossi Campos and Manuel Campos. Um, we have grown it from just being, you know, three people in there three days a week because that's all we could do to now, with myself included, we are 15 people, which is crazy. And we've had it for 15 years. So um, that's, that's quite something. So I think we are likely the largest. Uh, canine rehab facility in Canada and maybe in a lot of places. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. So uh, what I do, I work at my clinic uh, three days a week or rather two and a half days a week. Um, the other days I am working on curricula for uh, or education training material for fourleg.com. I lecture around the world whenever I can. I am so lucky to have those opportunities. Um, let's see, work, four leg. Uh, I have a little human in Canine Fitness Center for my therapist to maintain their license. I manage that. I am the advocacy lead for the Animal Rehab Division, so any of the political stuff ends up coming down through me or filtering through me. I respond to things, deal with stuff. Uh, that takes up time, um, and yeah, uh, oh 
own the ranch with my husband and do that. And so yes, I have a husband, I have two adult boys, um, just new adults, so it's not like I'm done raising them. <sighs> it's worse now. Anyways, that's another, that's another whole another blog post. Um, and let me just say, so little bits and pieces of advice, you have to wait this long to get those, is when opportunity comes, say yes. So I, like, you know, Lori, create curriculum, create a dog physio course. Oh, okay. So I said yes. Um, all these teaching opportunities around the world, I said yes. Um, so to get yourself jump started early on, I would say, say yes to the opportunities. Because from the get-go, I didn't plan this to be my career. It's just, I, I always joke, I'm in a canoe with no paddles. And I don't know where my canoe is headed. I just, you know, I just go along and I just, I guess I get to get off on the shore now and then, or I deal with the rapids or whatever comes along. But I am just going the way that the universe wants to take me. And it has led to some really incredible opportunities. Okay, I think I covered it all. So there you go. So I'm Laurie Edge Hughes. I own, co-own the Canine Fitness Center in Calgary. I own fourleg.com. Two Hands Physiotherapy, Edge Hughes Cattle Company, I'm Advocacy Lead for the Animal Rehab Division. Say yes. <laughs>